This is a time lock made by the Consolidated Time Lock Company. It belongs to a genre that's called concussion timers. It's a fairly small group, a rare group of time locks that operated in an unusual way. What you have here is a set of two time lock movements conventional time lock movements made by the consolidated company. What's unusual is this mechanism below. This is the concussion unit. Now the purpose of the concussion unit was that it would be an override of the time locks in the unusual possibility that both of these movements would fail. Now overrides were common on time locks, especially those made by the consolidated company, if they had only one time lock movement. You then would have a special way of overriding the time lock, which uh, consolidated called the infallible system, and that is illustrated on some other examples uh, in the collection. Here you have an override in case both of the timers fail. Uh, which in itself is a very uh, unlikely probability. So what this does is in case both of these fail, one could through manipulation of the bolt works operate the unit here by an aperture in the back of the lock pushing this forward this little pendulum forward and you can hear that it's on a ratchet here and this ratchet then operates through this worm gear operated to this worm gear which is then operated to this wheel back here and when this wheel turns to zero it will then disable the um, the timers and allow one to dial in the combination to open the safe. Now you can see from the back side here this is where the bolt work would come through and push it. Now when I say bolt work what I mean is if you uh, manipulate the in this case it would either be the um, handle for the bolt works, the exterior handle, but probably the um, uh, combination lock by rocking it back and forth it would then be connected to a uh, a mechanism which would be uh, allowing this to be pushed and thus allowing it to uh, move the wheel forward. Now there are a couple of other features here. This little button here allows one to adjust this forward or backward like so. Now what that does is it then limits the throw of this pendulum. So for each time that you push it forward, you get a little bit less movement on this ratchet wheel. So it makes it even harder and taking even longer to open. Now to give one an idea of just how long it would take to open this, and of course that's the whole idea is that you want uh, somebody to have to stand in front of this safe for hours or perhaps even a, an entire day or two to be able to override this lock uh, so that if somebody were trying to do this surreptitiously it would be very difficult to do. Now if you see if I just simply push this forward you will see how many turns one has to do to get any kind of movement on the dial. You can see, you can barely see that dial moving and you can see how many turns this is taking for you to even see an imperceptible amount of movement on that dial. 
Now the dial can be set anywhere from zero, which would be kind of silly, all the way to 24. Um, I don't know if this connotes the number of hours that it would take to open. Um, I would imagine that uh, the number of hours it would take to open would depend upon the speed at which you are pushing this uh, little pendulum in the back, fast or slow, and also by how far this uh, retention clip is pushed in or out. But either way, one can see it would take a really, really long time, and that's the whole purpose of this. Other percussion, uh, uh, concussion, excuse me, locks worked with instead of a um, a manipulation of the uh, of the um, a combination you had a small pendulum here which would act upon this mechanism and that pendulum would move as the safe was being hit from the outside thus the name concussion and this of course would only be used on safes that were were movable because if this were a vault uh, put in the side of a building obviously hitting the door would not have any effect on uh, swinging that small pendulum on the inside. And you can see it is called a concussion timer as on the dial here. And I will try to zero in on this for you. And you can clearly read it that uh, it is a Milton Dalton concussion timer.